It's that time of year, the time for holiday parties. It seems like at least once a week, I have something to go to, some sort of get together with family or with friends, and we're all there. And what do we end up doing? Taking pictures with our phones. <laughs> Everybody's got their phone out these days to take photos for social media or just because we're all together and we wanna take pictures. But I prefer to do something else. I prefer to bring a DSLR and actually take good party photos because, you know, phone photos are great. You know, it's whatever camera you have with you at the time is, is the best camera, right? But I don't know about you guys, but it seems like a lot of photos that are taken with phones at parties are not the greatest. <laughs> you know, a lot of times it's low light and they're not like the portrait you want to hang on your wall. So. That's one of the reasons that I just like to bring my real gear and get some good photos. Sometimes it's, you know, the only time of year that I see some of my family. And a lot of times it feels like every time I see people, they say, oh, I've really got to, I've really got to get, you know, you to, I've really got to let you know that I need, I need you to come out and take some portraits of me. I really would like family pictures, but. I need to lose weight. I need to get a new outfit. I, you know, there's like a thousand different excuses, right? For someone not to get their portrait taken. But at a party, I feel like, dude, you are dressed up. There is no excuse. I am taking a portrait of you. <laughs> so, because they're important, they're important. You never know how long everyone's gonna be around. So it's nice to have good photos of people. Here's the deal. I have some stuff in front of me. These are things that I may or may not bring on any given party. Um, depending on the party, I might bring a little bit more or a little bit less. So here's the deal. I always want, let's start with the, the most important thing, the camera. I always want a camera that's going to be good in low light because so many of these happenings are in the evening, um, you know, a lot of times indoors because most places, not here, it's cold out and you don't want to be outside. So this is my D500. Um, my D810 is filming me right now. I might bring that one. And then I like a lens that's going to give me a little bit of flexibility if I can. This is the 17 to 55 f 2.8 DX lens goes great with my D 500 um, or on my D 810, I might bring the 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens. Uh, those lenses are great in low light. However, they're kind of pricey lenses. So a prime lens is also good. I also like a prime lens because it's small and I can just kind of have my camera hanging on me and there's not a lot of bulk so that I can actually enjoy the party too. So maybe a 50 millimeter lens on my D810 or a 35 millimeter lens on my D500. Maybe the 50 millimeter on my D500. Again, this is all going to depend on the situation. But I feel like since I'm taking these photos for fun and just to um, I'm kind of, you know, donating them, if you will, to people, uh, I can kind of do whatever I want. So if I want to bring a prime lens and just shoot what I have, that's okay. It's not like I'm getting paid for this. So anyway, um, rule number one, good camera and lens that are good in low light. So beyond that, um, what else about light flashes? A lot of times I'm going to want to bring a speed light because low light, you know, sometimes there's not a lot of light in these places. So um, this is an SB800 and this will just go on my camera or I might use the Amazon Basics Flash. This is the first year I've had this um, for the holidays, but I like this. It is manual only. You can't um, meter through the lens or anything like you can with, for example, my branded Nikon Flash. However, I'm okay with that. I actually kind of prefer um, manually dialing in my flash. So especially in low, really low light situations like a party, uh, I find that my camera wants to give me a whole lot of light through the flash and I don't always want that. So anyway, one of those would be great. Sometimes, sometimes if I'm feeling like I want bonus points, I will bring a method to get my flash off my camera. So in this case, it's the SC29 cable. It attaches to my camera. I can hold the flash out to the side. 
this works best if I'm using like a prime lens on my camera because that means that the camera's not very heavy and actually it would be like this so I could hold my camera and, <laughs> and hit the uh, and hit the shutter release button um, that might be something that I do honestly I don't do that all that often because then I have this extra appendage that I have to carry around um, and when I'm wanting to enjoy myself you know I might not do that but you know I might it just depends on my mood I like to take pictures and then possibly a light stand now or or a tripod but the reason that I bring this is sometimes I like to set up a little portrait studio <laughs> in the corner especially if I'm at like a family function I have a big family so we're all you know at somebody's house or at a rented room at a restaurant or something i might like go over to a corner and set up a little portrait studio and get people to come over there and and take their pictures so in that case i'd be able to put one of these flashes on the light stand and have it off the camera and trigger it that way um, in which case i would need another flash on my camera to optically trigger it because I optically trigger flashes. But anyway, that's that's a whole nother story. <laughs> that's getting a little more in detail than I guess I want to today. But the last thing that I bring is batteries because if I'm bringing my DSLR and I'm packing all this stuff up, I better have the means to shoot all night long if I want to. So I have my camera batteries, extra battery, or even double A's for my flashes. Um, you know, these are just my my new favorites, my Amazon Basics high capacity rechargeable batteries. So that's that. That's what I bring when I'm gearing up to go to a holiday party. You know, one thing that you may not notice here is a bag. I prefer to carry it all on myself. I'm going to have my DSLR hanging on me. Um, you know, if I'm bringing a lot of extra stuff, I might have a little bag for batteries or whatever but I'm not bringing a big camera backpack because like I said, the idea is that I'm enjoying myself while I'm there. It's not work. That's what I gear up with when I'm going to a holiday party. Why don't you guys tell me, do you bring a big camera to your holiday parties too? Or do you stick with the phone? And what do you plan on doing this year? Let us know in the comments.